Welcome back, long riders, to everything fly fishing. Do you want to learn three killer deadly patterns you can use if you're trying out your nymphing, or if you just want a strike indicator nymph or drop nymph? I got three deadly, deadly flies for you today. So if you're new here, go down here and subscribe so you don't miss any of these upcoming videos that we're going to bring you like this one with great tying patterns and some great techniques on the water. And we're going to try and help you catch more fish. So subscribe down here if that is what you want to do is catch more fish. We're going to start out, we got a size 12 jig hook with a slotted bead. I'm going to put this on here. And that's how we're going to start the fly. And we're going to start with 70 denier brown thread. Now we're going to tie in some of this. Uh, sun or fire yellow uh, wire uh, it's almost a gold color I like it a little bit better than gold I'm gonna tie that in and we're gonna take some of that this uh, hairs Ear dubbing, it's already pre blended, came in a pack. Uh, it's the color of a hair's ear, nymph. I'm gonna take this, dub this on, and we're gonna dub that right up to the beam. Now, make sure you make the cone so your body gets bigger right up behind the bead. I'm gonna run that dubbing right up behind the bead. Now you're going to counter wrap this ribbing. I mean, go the opposite way you did with the dubbing. Just to make it stronger, fly, and make the rib stick out better. And I'm going to take that ribbing right up to the bead. You're going to cinch down your wire. Twirl it like a helicopter to break saw, stir it down with a couple more thread wraps, and whip finish it. Now you're done with that fly, that's very easy to tie. All three of these flies I'm bringing you in this video are very easy to tie. So let's get to the vise for the next fly and learn that one. And these are all really deadly, so you don't, you want to catch all three of these. Now you start the bait, same bead, same hook, except for you're gonna use red thread. And this will make a hot spot right behind the bead when you finish this fly. Pretty much the same fly except for the ribbing and the, the thread used. I got this real thin crystal flat. I got it for streamers. It comes in purple and you can use different colors, try different color combinations. But we're gonna use this as a rib. And this is clear, it's like a regular crystal flat. I'm gonna use that hair zier dubbing again. It's just hair zier dubbing I bought already mixed for hair zier then. I'm gonna dub that right up behind the bead again.
Now you take that crystal flash and you're gonna rivet it right up to be to the bead and tie off that crystal flash and cut off what you don't use. Whip finish. We're done with another one. And that's a second deadly five. Now for the third one. This one's a little more complex, but it's combinate. It's a really deadly fly. I've been using it for a long time. Let's get to the place. We're gonna start this fly with a size 12 jig hook and a slotted bead for this jig hook. We're going to use brown thread. Now we're going to start, run it all the way back to the bend of the hook. Now we're going to tie in some light tan organza for a tail. And then once we get that tied in, we're going to cut that down the same length as this shank little. I'm going to tie in that hot yellow wire again as a rib. And underneath the hook, you're gonna turn the hook upside down in your vise. And underneath, you're gonna tie in an, it's like an eighth inch wide tinsel, uh, small tinsel. We're gonna tie that in, and that's gonna be a flash underneath the fly, or on top, actually. You're gonna dub this with the same hair's ear dubbing we used all, the same dubbing all three flies. Show you the variation. Now we're going to pull that flashing over and secure it down right behind the bead. And it doesn't matter if it's directly on underneath or not. Now you're going to counter rib this. Now you the opposite way you rub, wrap dubbing so it sticks out and makes a stronger fly. And you can wrap this rib right up behind the bead, cinch it off, airplane until it breaks off. Now you're going to make a dubbing loop with your line. It means you're going to take a line, wrap it up and tie it off so you have a loop. And then you're going to split that loop open. Hold it While you hold it open, you're going to stick some really dark wheat olive. You could use black ice dubbing, any kind of ice dubbing. Stick in that loop really loose. And then you have a dubbing tool. And on the end, each end of the dubbing tool, there's two loops. Stick that, that dubbing tool in the bottom of that, that loop you had made. Once you get all that dubbing in, pull down on the dubbing tool, pinching the two, the loop together and twist it. Keep twisting, 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 twisting. And that's how you make a dubbing loop. And you wrap that right behind the bead, tie it off. If you don't have a dubbing tool, you can also make that loop, put it in real lightly. Take your hackle pliers, put it in the bottom of the loop, open them up, take the top thing in the bottom of the loop, pull it tight, let the hackle pliers pinch it, 
twist it and do the same effect without a dubbing, or a dubbing material, or a dubbing tool. Alright. Secure that dubbing loop down good. Then whip finish it. We've made the final fly, the third one, and these three flies are really extremely deadly. You're gonna want all of them in boxes. Well, let's take, we'll talk to you at the end of this. Let's take a closer look at these three deadly, amazing flies. Hope you like that tying videos these three flies are extremely deadly the first one Walt's worm invented by Walt Young of Pennsylvania my home state yeah and the Walt's a sexy worm and I do know if he came up with it but probably and these two are extremely deadly the tying them year I just never tied them in the jig hook and thank God from the guys from Livey Legs sent me these hooks for free when I ordered last time I ordered legs. So I know a lot of some people that have been getting on their case about helping me out, and they did. So that's really cool. So shout out to the Livey leg, Legs boys. And uh, so I had no choice, but I had to tie them on jigs. And the third, the third fly was an old pattern that I tied years ago that got... I think it's still my number one viewed fly as the most deadliest nymph. And that was a flashback pattern I tied. And I just put the flash underneath and invert it. Because this fly, these flies are going to ride with the hook up like this. They're going to ride like this and the hook will be up here. And so they can bounce them off the bottom and they won't get stuck as much. At least that's the theory. I think that when they hit the current they'll be going like this. And then they'll, But anyway... To make a great point fly, if you're going to try to learn that Euro nymphing, use this as your first fly in a check setup or Euro nymph, any way you want to set up your nymph rigs. Even if you're just going to use one fly, it'll be good just with even a strike into carry, they're, going to be, they're deadly. The second, the third one, Tracy's been fishing ever since she's been fishing with me. Uh, I think it was there. She caught her first trout ever on the first one. So she's been diehard on that. I think her two favorite flies right now, if you ask her, would be the Olive Lively Legs and the Flashback. Except for I was always tying them on the regular straight hook, like a regular nymph, like a, any pheasant tail nymph you've ever seen. And I was tying it, and that video got thousands of views. So if you are watching this on a replay, make sure you're subscribing. Man. You don't want to go miss any more videos I got, you know? There's just this little red thing down here that says subscribe. You click it and a subscribe words come up. You just click it, boom, subscribe seconds. So make sure you do that. And like I said, make sure you tie these flies. They're so dang deadly. You want these in your box. And it might save you. There's, the cool thing is you can bounce them off the bottom. They're quick and easy ties. I mean, I tied like five of these up in 15 minutes. You know, they're so quick and easy. And uh, so make sure you have them in your box. Tie a crap load of them in different colors. A whole bunch of them, massive them tied. I'm going to tie more. I still got, I think, uh, 10 more hooks and 10 more beads ready to go. I'm going to tie some more in different colors. I might do an all olive one, uh, maybe an all black one. Different colors. Tie them up. You're going to want them. And uh, 
Thank you for bearing with me. I have to tell you something. Our main computer that we've been running this channel off of, our main computer, the one that's been pushing us for the last three years on this YouTube channel, took a crap. I didn't update, and it's shot. So it won't boot up. So if this video is a little rough, and you, you're a subscriber, I know, I know. It was a little rough. Um, it was because I had to do it on Tracy's laptop all the editing on Tracy's laptop um, because of my computer and I had to do uh, new downloads, I had to redo all my editing and I still didn't get all of it uploaded so it sounds a little diff rough and uh, this should be good because this is shot on the new Canon so this these should, endings and beginnings should be good but the middle of that t video is a little rough with the sound and everything that's because it's a new computer and I didn't get all the software downloaded and people out there just slamming doors probably hear me in here talking just decide they want to be jerks and slam their doors but anyway um so make sure we'll go back we'll get it all fixed and it'll be back to normal and uh, videos <laughs> wow it's the same cans around or whatever um and It'll be back to normal once I get all the everything downloaded again. I had to do my webcam drivers again, and um, but anyway, that's enough of that. Uh, make sure you check out all these song videos in our playlist. Make sure you click my little face, and like I said, all you do is click that face, a little subscribe thing. You click on the subscribe button, and it subscribes you that quick, seconds. So make sure you do that. I still. 89% views come from non-subscribers. Make sure you do that. It helps us significantly on everything that YouTube, you know, just helps us out on YouTube is the subscribers. We like all you, we love all you guys that subscribed. Keep your lines wet, out of the trees, and I want to give you them fish a sore lip. Let's have some cans around up there on the floor.